Hi friends, you're welcome back to our mathematics class. Now we'll be looking at what is the next term from this sequence on the board. What is the next term? Now let's look at it. This is 2, 3, 7, 16 and 32. Now what's the difference between 2 and 3 here? 1, right? They added plus 1 here, right? Now from here, 7 and 3, what is the difference? 7 taken away 3 there is going to give us plus 4. What is the difference in 16 and 7? We have plus 9. Yes. And 32 here is plus 16. So looking at it, how do you think or what do you think is the next term or the next two terms going to be as the case may be? Here is plus 1. That means it is 1 times 1 here is 1, right? 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. So automatically we are going to have the next one to be 5 times 5. That is plus 25. And the other one, if assuming we have another 10, plus 30, right? Plus 36. 6 times 6 is 36. Plus 36. So how do we not get it? We are going to add 25. To 32 to get the next term. We are going to add 25 to 32 because here 4 times 4, 2 times 2 is 4, right? The 4 we added it to 3 to get 7. This is 3 times 3, 9. Now you added it to 7 to get 16. Now we we'll have 4 times 4 is 16. 16 added to 16, you have 32. So here we have 5 times 5 is 25. 25 added to this 32 will be giving us the next term here. So 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 plus 3 is what? 5. Term there is going to be 57, right? Then Assuming they said the next two terms, though they ask us for one, let's just give them the second one. The next two terms. So we have 36 here already. So you just add it to this. 6 plus, 6 plus 7 is 13. You write your 3, carry 1. 3 plus 5 is 8 plus the 1 is 9. So the next two terms here is 57 and 93. Hope you understood it. Let's look at the second one. Now let's look at number two. What is the next term there? Then we'll have our question mark. Now we have 3, 7, 16, 35, and 74. Let's check whether this method we use in number one is going to work for number two. We'll have 7 taken away 3 here is going to give us 4. That's plus 4. And 16 taken away 7, same plus 9. Well, here is 32 and this 35. So we are going to have. 16, that's 19 here. So we find out that it might not work for us. So let's use this other method. 3 times 2 is what? 6. This is 3 times 2 is 6. It was to 6 plus 1. That is 7. We we'll have 7 here. We are trying out this method, whether it's going to work for us. Then for us to get this other one here, we we'll have 7 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14. And 14 plus 2 here is what? 16. We have seen these two. See how it goes. Here we added 1. And here we are adding 2. But we are multiplying the same 2. Now let's go to this here to know what is there. We have 16 times 2, which is 32. Right? Plus 3. That is 1, 2, 3 now. 32 plus 3. We give us 35. That is what we have here. So let's do for 35. We have 35 times 2. That is 30, 70. We have equals to 70 plus 4, which will give us 74. And that's what we have here. So what is the next term? Let's still do what we have, how we did it there. We have 74 times 2, which is 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 7 is 14. So we have 148. 
148, what are we going to add? That is 5. 5 plus 8 here is 13. Carry 1, this is 5, and this is 1. So uh, what we are replacing with our question mark is 153. 153 is our next term. As we want to get to the next other term, what do we do? We multiply our 153 times 2, which will give us 2 times 3 is 6. Write our 6. 2 times 5 is 10. 0 carry 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 6. So we we'll have 6 plus 6 is 12. You write your 2 and carry 1. The 1 replaces 0 here and they have the 3. So we we'll have our next term there is 312 and so on. That is how you're going to do it. Remember, I'm not going to leave you empty handed. I'm going to give you the one that you will solve and I will see the answer in the comments. This number three is for you and it's quite easy. What will be the next two terms in this sequence? That's number three. What will be the next two terms in this sequence? What you use and replace this question mark there? We have 1, 2, 6, 15, 13, sorry, 31. Then you fill in the two question marks. Hope you enjoyed today's class. I want to see you in our subsequent classes. You can also give us a thumbs up in the comments and share our video. Bye-bye.